Good afternoon, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. I'm working, was working on a project today that uh, required a very unique, uh, some, some unique dimensions for a master bathroom shower. It was a frameless glass shower and uh, had to fit in certain constrictions uh, to fit. And, of course, we want it to be equal sides of the uh, octagon, right? So I wanted to share a video of how I do frameless glass showers. I've drawn up a master bathroom example here in which I'm going to do a semi-protected toilet, um, double vanity, little linen cabinet here, and I'm going to, wanting to do a uh, frameless glass shower with an octagon shape around this space. To get the octagon all the same dimensions, I'm going to use the uh, rectangular polygon tool as a guide for my shape. Um, I want it to have eight sides, and I want to have the, the glass actually line up right in the center of these walls. So I've got this line down the center of the walls, but my glass uh, I've modeled as half an inch thick, so I want this line actually a quarter of an inch justified to the inside. So I'm going to make it 24 and a half uh, inches from center of the shower to the edge, inside edge of where I want the glass to be. So now I'm going to choose my polygon, uh, octagonal polygon tool here. And the great thing is, is I can choose how long I want the sides of this polygon to be, or I can go from the center of the polygon out to the corner of the, of the uh, edges, or to the side of the edges. And this is, this is the option I want. From the center of my polygon, my octagon, to the outside side of the octagon is my 24 and a half inches. So I'm going to change that to 24 and a half inches, and there's my perfect polygon. Now, for some reason, Chief won't allow me to drop it on the center of this, probably because I'm in the polygon mode, it's going to select this line if I click there. So I'm just going to hover over, create my endpoint uh, snap, and drop it here. I can move it here in a minute. So it's going to create my polygon, which has the perfect length from center to edge to the side and I want the middle of this uh, side to actually land right here. So I'm going to have full height glass for half of a side, full side, full side, full side, and half of a side. I'm going to start by drawing one wall here and change its wall type. So I double clicked on the wall and I'm going to, in my, uh, I'm assuming you have this wall type called glass shower. And I'll click OK. Now I want this handle to be on the inside of the shower so that I can pull it right to the wall. If it's not on the inside of the shower, you can select the wall and click this little tool right down here to reverse layers. So now it's on, you see the handles on the outside of the shower. I could either turn it around 180 or just click this tool to flip it to the inside. So there's that now. I'll drag this to the corner. I'm going to drag this diamond again to the corner. Drag this diamond to the wall. To the wall. Now I've got my uh, octagonal frameless glass uh, 
drawn and, and modeled. However, I don't have a curb here. Now, I've created a shower glass door in my library that I'm going to put here, and I'm going to change its width to 20 inches. No, not 20. Yeah, 20. I'm not sure why, why are we having this? There we go. Great. Now my curb. I've been drawing curbs um, manually every time, but it hit me what I can do, uh, and I believe this is X8, that you can set items relative to the floor set custom items like uh, polyline solids cust relative to the floor instead of an absolute number. So the great thing is I can use this on first floor, I can use it on second floor, third floor, whatever, tri-level, etc. I've created this library item called I call Shower Curb, which already has uh, a top, a cap, and a four inch tall curb. And they have the appropriate uh, materials that I want for now and they're also on the right layer. I'm gonna drop this in here. It is a uh, architectural block to be placed into the library, so we're going to explode this block, and you'll see it's got a thickness of one inch. The top is five inches from the floor, which is our subfloor, and the bottom is four inches from the subfloor. This internal line is the dashed line, it's four inches thick. Its top is four inches from the subfloor and rests right on the subfloor. I've placed these on my wall's normal layer so they appear appropriately in every layer set imaginable. And I'm gonna start placing these around the uh, outlining the shape of the uh, frameless glass. Now I want this down the center so I'm gonna hit Control G or Command G on a Mac, and I get the center of this line. Great, uh, the wall I should say. And really, I, I don't care about the length so much. I'm gonna copy this, rotate it 45 degrees, and I could center it on the wall, and I want it centered under the wall. I'm gonna take this one and copy about the center of this, about the center of the shower. Again, copy these two, copy about the center of the shower, and one last one for this wall. Let's see, can I get the center of that wall? Not quite. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is do a little construction. Uh, you know what I can do? I'm going to control X to delete that. The door was making it that it wasn't picking up the wall. Move that curb into position and control alt V or command option V on a Mac to paste in place. And the door is back. This is fantastic, you say, but the uh, you know the plan view doesn't look great. The model doesn't look great. Looks kind of messy and stupid. You're right, absolutely right. Beautiful thing about this. Now I'm going to pull each of these back to where it crosses the intersection. See how this line of this cap is crossing this line of the cap. I'm going to pull it back to that intersection. I'm gonna pull this cap back to that same point. The insides don't matter, I, they can cross. I'll handle that in a moment. I'm gonna pull this back to where it crosses the dashed line intersection. Pull this dashed line back to the corner again. That's fine. And just work my way all the way around the shower. Pulling one back to the intersection, as long as the outside edges cross each other, 
you've got that beautiful intersection tool to uh, work with. And that's what we're uh, most concerned about at this point in the stage of the game is pulling the outside edges to cross uh, to where they cross the intersection of the other edge. Cap, we work with the cap and then we work with the curb and there's all the outside edges are lined up to their points. Still not quite there, right? So now I'm going to select all by, sh by shift clicking on all of the caps that, that selected the door. I don't want the door. It's still selecting the door. I'm going to do a control X again to remove the door. We'll do that same control alt V or command option V. So I've got five objects selected of this of the caps just the caps right now I'm going to choose this polyline union tool click once and I'm going to delete the originals and notice how the cap is one unit all the way around looks beautiful in model and plan now I'm going to select all the curbs and the same polyline union child tool down here so click once, delete original. Now, last option, last thing is Command Option V on a Mac or Control Alt V to place the uh, door. And look at this. How quick was that? I've got a bathroom, a uh, uh, shower, custom shower, frameless glass. I'm going to call this bathroom going to be a tile uh, floor. I'm going to call this a bathroom, but I'm going to change the room name to shower. And I'm going to uncheck floor default and remove the base molding inside the shower. Last but not least, I'm going to click on the uh, drop down box for my walls and do wall material regions. Click once on the wall, click once on this wall, click once on this wall, and it creates tile for me. Looks like I'm going to have to adjust these wall material regions back a bit. Zoom out and take a camera view inside. So there's the quick way I do custom frameless glass uh, showers, curbs, and walls. I could paint this. This I've got is kind of a glass uh, material, but I'm going to paint this granite on here. Open that up and you see that the, uh, the shower door is above the curb. Now this this wood here is visible because you, you've got two walls butting end to end. You could create a um, polyline solid and give it a you know give it a uh, texture, probably a tile texture because um, they would tile that end, but that would clean that up nicely. There you go. This is the biggest thing that I've been using recently is the shower curb tool in my, uh, in my libraries uh, and, and save myself a bunch of time from uh, having to create that every, every time I wanna, want my uh, custom shower. All right, so Again, Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions with, uh, with Chief Architect Modeling. Have a great day.